make sure we get this bomb in a very public place, like a school or a police station. It's better be worth that 2,000 bucks that guy's paying us to bomb the building. over 650 a piece dollars with three grown men to split i'm gonna go out to pomona california and see my son he's gonna come running outside he's gonna come running through those doors and be like daddy that's the one thing you can always count on his family charles what do you say you're gonna do with your share of the money say maybe i'm gonna buy one of them gas station pies like table talk out of shell I'm gonna munch a few of them down, maybe buy a few with my friends, some for my family. Fuck, I'm fucking sick. Can't you see that? God, Jesus. His body's ice cold. And he's a dead man. I've never seen a corpse like I that. It's good. My own Keep the main friend, it's all yours, man. It's not like this. Kid, you're so fucked. Nick! No! No! No, no, it wasn't supposed to be like this. We were gonna take the two grand for planting the bomb in the school, and we were gonna get out of here. Well-meaning bombers kicked the bucket one by one, proving that crime doesn't pay, but you've always got your friends. They only charged $2,000, not a lot of money, but it was their first bomb job and they didn't know what to charge. Skinny Pete just wanted some gas station pies, but he died too bad, Pete. Vince Slick was all set to ride out to Pomona, California to see his boy. But Vince was done in, got done good. Now he's just another dead bomber with dollar signs in his eyes. Sorry Vince, you bombed with the best while you were here. Sayonara. Roddy was the last to go. He nearly had the whole two grand all to himself. But if one thing's true about money, it's that you can't spend it when you're in a coffin. And Roddy was deader than the rest. He never told his friends what he wanted to spend his share of the money on. But if he had a chance to answer, he probably would have said an antique Wurlitzer jukebox. And he was a weird guy, always watching Barry Jackson and collecting coins and pipes and model trains. I think his dad collected trains and had a 57 Chevy. He died when Roddy was a young kid, and that's why he grew up to be this, like, weirdo fag. Like he'd rather play with his ham radio than go on a date with a hot chick. He probably jacks off to pictures of golden retrievers. 